what's up guys veggie here vegetarian bodybuilder and I just wanted to bring this topic to attention to a lot of people I don't know how many people are going to watch this video but it's something I really want to discuss before I start the video I want to say a quick you know rest in peace to Mohammed Akhlaq you know the, the guy who was killed for allegedly eating beef in India so you know I'm I really want to I feel I feel for his family in this time of need you know and it, he just really didn't deserve to die let's get straight to the topic okay let's straight away debunk the whole myth of him eating beef it was actually found that it was goat meat in a meat test so that Indian mob essentially already fucked up so they're already fucking retarded now let's go straight to the next point is it okay to slaughter someone for killing a holy animal in that country no it isn't it's like saying someone's gonna die because they killed us one in England it's the holy it's like an animal that's seen superior here because it's one of the Queen's favorite animals but I wouldn't say someone deserves to die for killing one I'd call them a moron yes but this case it, the guy didn't even kill the animal you know it was me and it wasn't even a cow guys it was a goat and he's killed for the wrong intentions which is the first thing I'd like to point out that's really fucking stupid and the second thing is well, it's okay for someone to eat chicken or fish in India but as soon as they eat beef you know let's fucking kill them like you've seen the amount of bullshit that goes on in India you know you've seen the the rapes on the buses you've seen you know village girls being raped you've seen all the fucked up stuff that happens in those small Indian you know villages and it kind of makes me ashamed to be Indian and I just want to send my condolences to his family because there's a time in need for them. And I just want to pray out there that, you know, no matter what religion you are, you're human and this is simply wrong. It's almost like these Indian mobs are becoming extremists with their beliefs, with their belief system. If someone doesn't follow it, they die. And you know what laws, those, those countries, you guys, you know those countries that follow those certain laws where if you are atheist, you probably go to prison or killed the laws where they force beliefs onto you otherwise you know you, you'll face consequences for it and in that aspect I'm you know I'm ashamed to be Indian as a vegetarian I don't eat beef I don't eat you know chicken I don't eat fish I eat egg I'm gonna admit that to you guys and I eat dairy but I don't think someone deserves to die whether it be goat or beef I it just it's just something that the justice system should take care of really is something I'd like to first iterate and I understand that, you know, India in general has a lot of fucked up corruption going on in there. If you've read about 1984 as a Sikh, you know, I, I know my history in regards to the amount of bullshit that goes on in India. And seeing something like this, it almost makes me ashamed to be Indian, you know. The media see this and they can start making generalizations, you know. You already hear generalizations of, you know, Indians being rapists and shit. It's just fucked up. Same with Muslims being, you know, terrorist bombers and bullshit. It's just bringing negative attention from a small group of people. That's what it is. And it really shouldn't be that way. It's, I just really needed to rant because as soon as I saw this, it pissed me off so much. I needed to take a few deep breaths and step back. Because it's, it's something I can relate to. I've been eating meat, you know, since the age of 12. Do I really deserve to die? I know I didn't eat beef, but do I deserve to die for eating meat at those ages? I don't think so. That's all I really wanted to address you guys. I want to send my condolences to his family in their time of need because I can even read here his daughter it's quite heartbreaking his daughter says who's gonna bring my father back to life now even though it's confirmed it was goat me how fucked up is that anyway you guys I know it's not fitness related and I just wanted to bring this to everyone's attention it really broke my heart when I read this even as a vegetarian I this isn't right it really isn't because first they got it wrong and second <laughs> eating meat you don't deserve to die for that in my opinion I know vegan activists and people out there are gonna say you do but my family and friends eat meat and I don't think they deserve to die this is my take on it this is vegetetics let's remember this man for being an innocent man slaughtered for pretty much the wrong reason and for a stupid reason Let's remember Muhammad Aklak as an innocent man who didn't deserve to die. And that's all I really want to address in this video, you guys. This is Vegetetics. I'll see you in that next video. Peace.